We're talking about your home, we're talking about your car, we're talking about your life in general. All important, all expensive, or really priceless. So you want to have a plan to make sure that all of those things are covered in case something happens. Christopher Cook from Alliance Insurance Services is here to answer your questions about all things insurance. Hey, first and foremost, let's just start off and talk about how COVID-19 has changed insurance. And let's talk about car insurance for the everyday driver. How has it changed it for us? Sure. Uh, I'm not sure how many of your viewers will remember, but back in April and May when the pandemic was really uh, first on the scene, if you will, and affecting us in, in all sorts of new ways. Many carriers across the state and really are across the country um, essentially discounted um, their care, their customers' premiums for basically what amounted to a month's worth of premiums because they knew folks weren't driving. So lots of consumers got essentially a month's worth of insurance premium refunded to them uh, during that time. And, and since then, we're seeing carriers um, lower some pricing just basically due to the fact that there's less accidents going on uh, currently at this time. Getting a few bucks back. That's not a that's not a bad deal. Um, we have a few questions when it comes to car insurance. Uh, this person says if I hit a deer and I have car damage, am I on the hook for that deductible? It depends. <laughs> well, they're going to be on the hook for the deductible. Yes, if their deductible for their comprehensive coverage is $500, then they have a $500 deductible whether they hit a deer or not. Some people do carry a $0 deductible for comprehensive coverage. And, and if they hit a deer, they would have a $0 deductible. Um, but yes, you're always gonna be on the hook for your deductible. I don't know of too many situations. There's a few uh, oh. where a deductible is waivable. All right, so the deductible you're always gonna pay, but it also depends on how much you're actually going to pay because not everybody has the insurance that would cover uh, what happens when you hit a deer. So let's talk about that. Yeah, that's right. Comprehensive coverage is the name of the coverage you want on your auto insurance policy for damage for hitting an animal. Most of the time in our area, that's a deer, uh, could be a dog or, or other animals as well. Comprehensive also covers damage from hail, flood, um, theft, vandalism, windshield damage is a very popular one. So a lot of people skimp on that because um, they're like, well, maybe I don't need it. But if you hit the deer or the ice falls on your car and breaks the windshield, well, you are then on the hook for all of those damages. OK, this person is asking, why can't a person get flood insurance when they live in a non flood area? You can always get flood insurance in our country. Um, in a non flood area it is going to be less expensive. So the vernacular for that is a flood zone X um, in insurance jargon. But if you are in a flood zone X, that basically means you're not in a highly prone area, but you can still buy a flood insurance policy for that. In our area, a $200,000 house could buy a flood policy for around $350 to $450 if they were not in a flood prone, prone zone. Mm -hmm. And we want to make it very clear that homeowners policies cover nothing in a flood. So flood and content policies are indeed extra. That's correct. All right. And is that flood from like the creek that rises? Is that flood from when the toilet overflows and kills, you know, all of your hardwood floors? Yeah, that's that's flood from when the creek rises. Um, rain or other weather driven flooding uh, could be snow melt um, is, is the type of flood we're talking about water backup um, or damage from your toilet overflowing, your washing machine drain line exploding and getting water everywhere. That is covered uh, if it happens sudden and accidentally, which most of the time it does. And do you have to prove that it happens sudden and accidentally? You know, cause some people will be like, oh my goodness, I moved my washer and all of a sudden I saw that the floor underneath is about to cave in. Yeah, that's a great question, Tanya. Unfortunately, if, if something has apparently been leaking for six, nine 12 months and you know mold doesn't grow overnight mold is present and so so on and so forth that is explicitly excluded in your homeowner's policy and, and i know that's frustrating and i understand it uh, but your homeowner's insurance policy covers and pays claims for things that happen suddenly or accidentally so if your washer let's say is on like the second floor and all of a sudden it falls through the ceiling that probably was a leak that you've probably seen before is what you're saying that probably has been <laughs> Okay. All right. This person says, how often should I be updating my homeowner's insurance policy? 
I'd like for you to review it every three years um, if you can. There's there's so much that changes in a given year. You may choose to replace your heating and air system, which could get you a discount. You may install a um, alarm system or replace your roof. Um, and in general, you know, ask a builder locally what the price of materials has done in the past um, six months. We've seen building prices and just material prices skyrocket. So it's, it's something we need to check on and, and make sure is up to date. This person's asking, what is hazardous insurance on your home? I've never heard your, that. Yeah, your mortgage company has asked you to provide proof of hazard insurance. And what they're asking you for is proof of your homeowner's policy. I have no clue why they call it hazard insurance, but that's your mortgage company asked you to do that. And you're trying to prove that you have homeowner's coverage, which covers fire, wind, hail, lightning, et cetera. It does not cover flood or earthquake, which I hope we talk about tonight. <laughs> you want to talk about the earthquake insurance? I just want to remind folks it's not covered on their homeowner's policy. And how often do you actually get a call that says, I think I need earthquake insurance? Only when Channel 2 says there's been an earthquake. <laughs> right. And then people want it. Okay. Uh, this person says, we're restoring our home and we're having a hard time getting home insurance. Do you have any suggestions? Homes under construction are difficult because the claims associated with them are um, higher than a, than, a, than a home that's not under a rehabilitation s status. There are some carriers in our area that will add an endorsement for building under construction or building under renovation. Uh, I know a couple of our carriers do that. Don't know this customer specific situation, how long the remodel has been going on, et cetera. Um, but I will endorse the company here. Um, Auto Owners is a carrier in our state that does a fine job with those types of risks, um, provided all the other factors are acceptable. And the name of the company again is? Auto Owners. Auto Owners, okay. Uh, we've got about a minute. This person says, um, how much should I take out for my possessions on my house to be covered? Any recommendations on how to come up with a number? The standard policy in North Carolina has made that simple for all of us, so you don't have to think about it a whole lot. Um, the standard policy has 50% of your home's insurance amount for contents coverage. So if you're insuring a $200,000 house, you automatically have $100,000 of contents coverage. Many, if not the vast majority of homeowners policies in our state actually have 70% for contents coverage, which would um, equate to $140,000 in the $200,000 home scenario. Um, so you don't have to think about it a whole lot. If you need more than that, talk to your agent. Yeah, especially if you have a whole bunch of jewelry or artwork or firearms or something like that, then you would need to talk to your insurance agent. Thanks so much for taking time out of your day to answer those questions. We appreciate it. Christopher Cook, 